When faced with a diagnosis of breast cancer, many patients are anxious not only about the disease itself, but about the treatments. Chemotherapy is notorious for causing nausea and vomiting, and for decades, this was accepted as a necessary part of fighting cancer. But today, chemo no longer has to make people sick. As part of our breast cancer special, we're talking with Dr. Allison Ocean, an oncologist at New York Presbyterian Hospital Weill Cornell Medical Center, and Robin Markson, a mom who developed breast cancer a year ago when she was just 34 years old. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and being willing to talk about Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Robin, we, I want to start with you. You were 34 years old, diagnosed a year ago. Your children were three and six years old at the time. You were in the prime of your life. Was this just an absolute shock? I have a very strong family history of a gene called BRCA, and my family carries the BRCA2 gene, so I knew that I had the gene. Um, having been monitored very, very closely, um, it was a shock that it happened because it happened between monitorings, and it came on strong and it came on fast. So yes, of course, like any cancer, it's a shock, even though I was told when I had the gene test that I had an 88% chance of getting cancer. I just, at the time, chose to watch it and wait. Watch it and wait, because you were still thinking about possibly having children. Exactly, exactly. I had two kids, and I was contemplating having a third, and I was 34, and I just wasn't even, I just felt like 34. Was my, young. Right, but I do have six other family members who had breast cancer, two at 37. So yeah, it was pretty shocking, of course, as Right, as it I would said. be for, for exactly. anybody. Exactly, now, You've had surgery to remove both breasts. You've had radiation, chemotherapy. You were treated at Mount Sinai Comprehensive Cancer Center. Yes. Were you worried uh, as you started these treatments? Were you worried about the side effects? Did you get the, the nausea, the vomiting from chemo? I think that's like your first concern. Like, I, I'm go I don't want to throw up. Like, I don't, I don't know that anybody likes to, to be sick. And sure. you always hear chemotherapy causes nausea and that sort of stuff. So that was the first thing I said. I just don't want to be sick. But let, let's talk about this. We have a Dr. Ocean here. Thank you again for joining us. Thank Explain you. why chemotherapy makes patients sick to their stomachs. Chemotherapy works by killing cancer cells, but it also kills normal cells. And there are normal cells that line our intestinal tracts. And when those cells die after a patient gets chemotherapy, that's what brings on the nausea and vomiting. So even though it's doing what it's supposed to do to kill the cancer cells, we get a side effect of nausea and vomiting related to the chemotherapy working on the intestinal tract. But there's a way now to keep the nausea at bay, right? Nowadays, we do have a lot of treatments that, ha that are effective in controlling nausea and vomiting that comes from chemotherapy. We have pill form of medicines, we have IV form of medicines that we can give to patients, and there's also a unique form of uh, medicine to control nausea and vomiting that's delivered via a patch. So how does this patch work? This patch is called Sancuso, and it helps to uh, prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. And how it works is it's a patch that has the medicine in the patch, and it's put on by the patient or by a caregiver, and it gives a steady delivery of medicine over seven days to prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Wow. And that's very important because when someone gets chemotherapy, and if they get sick from it, it can happen at various points during that process. So it can happen actually even before they even get to the doctor's office. That, that's called anticipatory nausea and vomiting. It also can happen the day that they get the chemo. They can get it, that's an acute phase of it. And then it can happen even delayed a few days later after getting the chemotherapy. So it can happen at any time during that process. So it's very important that we have uh, a medicine that will last seven days to prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Uh, Robin, when you found out about this, did this just make a huge difference for you personally? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, a friend of mine told me about it, and I asked my oncologist about it, and she said, yeah, sure, no problem. And um, the first round of chemo, chemo's cumulative, so yeah. you're not really as sick um, to like the end, but the first round was rough. By the second round is when I found out about the patch, and um, I used it, and I did see a significant difference. A significant difference. Yes. Is this effective in most patients that use it, Dr. Ocean? Yeah, the studies that have been done with the patch have shown that it, it does help reduce the amount of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. And what's very unique and, and special, I think, about it is that 
um, when patients are sick from chemotherapy, they don't want to put anything in their mouth. They don't yeah. want to eat, they don't want to take pills. They associate that with being sick and it also can sometimes make them even sicker. So it's, it's nice to have a different mechanism to deliver the medicine such as the patch where it, you get a constant infusion of it into your bloodstream. That's a, actually a revolutionary thing because when patients get nausea and vomiting from chemotherapy, it affects them in many, many different ways. In addition to having nausea and vomiting causing dehydration, which is not good when someone's undergoing chemotherapy, also if someone is getting sick a lot, they're not going to be as compliant with the therapies. Right. And so if we can manage the nausea and vomiting much better, then we can ensure that patients are more compliant with their treatments for ultimately better result, which is killing cancer. Are there any side effects? There are some side effects with, with the patch. The most common one is constipation. Uh, there are some other side effects that, that do happen that are not as common as, as constipation. If you develop anything that's new or different, if you're on the patch, you have to talk to your healthcare provider uh, about any of those side effects. But for the most part, it's very well tolerated and it works. And it works. Now, once you had the nausea, Robin, at bay for you, did, was it just a different experience that second time around from the first time around? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, there's always an adjustment period, but um, to know that you can actually get out of bed and not be concerned that you might have to run to the bathroom because you're going to get sick, you know, I don't want my kids to see that. I wanted them to see their mom and, you know, see me well. And so, yeah, I, I definitely felt like it helped a lot in keeping my life as normal as I could, it could possibly be under right. the circumstances. Under the circumstances, which is a great thing to know that you can feel that sense of normalcy. Absolutely. Do you have any advice for women who may be now just dealing with a, a diagnosis of breast cancer or women who are concerned? It's not a death sentence. I think women need to like stand up and say, I'm here, I can fight it, I can win this battle. Um, I think that women who develop breast cancer these days need to stand up and, and speak out about it not just about the prevention, and not just about the raising of money, but about how they felt, where to go buy a wig, uh, you know, how, how to do your makeup when you're feeling not so great or your skin gets sallow from the chemotherapy. I think that um, women be, would be more empowered going through this if they felt good about themselves. Right. Well, you, you are certainly an inspiration and I'm sure you're making many women feel better about themselves just Hope being so. here this morning. And <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Ocean, for being here with us as well. Thank you. It's been a pleasure having you both. Now to learn more about preventing chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting and for important safety information, visit sancuso.com.